Hi, my name is Anthony Cummins and welcome to this. Before we start the video, I just want to say this is going to be the longest, most boring video ever unless you are into the ninja to a geeky level, okay? So if you've come here to expect ninja tricks and um, things like that, no, this is going to be a sort of more in-depth discussion video. So uh, stop now unless you're ninja geek extraordinaire. Okay, the infamous ninja um, walk, okay? This is quite a complex subject, so I'm going to make this as basic as possible. I'm actually working, of course, from the new book, uh, In Search of the Ninja, but if you, if you want to follow me, it's on page 108. So, basically, 107, 108 is the, uh, the pages you should be following. That's that one there. So, um, get to that. Right, so you understand from the start, in the ninja community there's something called the deep grass rabbit step. This is a very, very famous um, step used by the ninja. And in everybody's imagination, you put your hands underneath your feet and you trundle on like that. What I'm about to present to you is the findings we've come across and I'm going to clear that which is doubt and that which is actual fact, okay? So what you need to remember for the first step is that two facts. One is the term, um, the rabbit step, appears in the Bansen Shukai. That's this here. So the term for that appears in the Bansen Shukai manual as part of, not a singular step, as a part of four steps or four ways of walking. And I'm going to do another video on that, on Stephen Nogiri's theory. So the the rabbit step is in the Bansen Shukai. Now, the second thing you need to know is that there's an unnamed ninja step. The unnamed ninja step, which is that's what we're going to call it because it has no name, appears in the Nimpiden, which is there. This is the one I produced, and uh, you can get this on Amazon, by the way. This is the original manual. Okay, so the unnamed step appears there. The deep grass rabbit step appears there. They're, they both appear in separate manuals. First we're going to deal with the unnamed step. Now I'm going to be clear here, I've called this Nimpiden before. I've started to call this Shinobi Hiden. The correct way it should be pronounced is Shinobi Hiden. So in the ninja community we need to start using Shinobi Hiden. I keep going back to Nimpiden myself because it's difficult. So let's start with that, the unnamed walk. Here is the extract, the picture, with the orange boxes about the walk. This is, this is where it actually appears in the manual. Now, this is a transcription, okay? The original manual is apparently dated in 1560, and another volume is in 1650s, I think, or the 1640s. Now, if you don't know, the original is lost, and all we have is the 1731-1733 time transcript, which is the one that's published there. Now, there nobody knows what's in the original because it's lost, but there's a mistake. Okay, let me let me show you how, what it says. I've got my notes here. It says, put your left hand down, and then put your right foot on top of it. So you cross over in this way, and I'll show you. This is the crossed over version. I'll show you in working in a moment. But then he says, put your left hand down again, which is strange, and put your left foot on top of your left hand. Presumably what he means is left hand down, right foot on top of it, then uh, right hand down, left foot on top of it, and you move like that. And it's actually quite easy to do when you move your leg out and around. I'll show you. Uh, I went to um, a friend of mine's friend, and he's called Eddie, and this is him performing this. We didn't bother worrying about the silence or anything like that. It was just simply how would it look. And the one problem we came across is generally Western people have very long legs. And Eddie has extremely long legs. Where in Japan you would get much shorter legs. Um, and I've had a few females do this. Um, and they seem to be able to do it very well.
possibly. I think I went outside. Superb. Can you do it one more time then from the outside yeah. this way? Yeah. Cat McGee stalk legs. So there's the one version of the walk. Um, here's the second version where it's same hand, same foot, which is the famous one we all know, which by the way is mistakenly called the rabbit step. So remember that. This is not the rabbit step yet. It's the unnamed step from the Shinobi Hidden. So here we go. There's another factor here, the kanji that's used for the left, when you put your left hand down, that two variations are used on the kanji. So it's not simply put your left hand down, put your right foot on it, put your left hand down, put your left foot on it. They actually use two distinctly different kanji, but both of those kanji in modern Japanese mean left. And as far as we know, they've always mean left. So it's a bit, it's a bit complicated whether it's a transcription error or that kanji originally meant something else. So for me, I go with the left hand, right foot, uh, right hand, left foot, the, the crawling along like this, simply because it is a different kanji used and I think the meaning has been lost. However, that is not fact, that is opinion. It could also be the same hand, same foot technique and just be a transcription error. The problem we've got is it's directly in the middle. It's right down, you've got left hand, right foot, um, and then again left hand, left foot, which means it could be either way. The reason I've swayed that way is simply because the two kanji, different kanji are used for left, which um, to me screams that there's a mistake somewhere and that they both, one of them means right. But again, that's open to debate. So, just to round up so far, that is the unnamed step from the Shinobi Hiden. This is first recorded in allegedly 1560, but its actual physical remaining date we have is 1733. Then in 1843, uh, another school, another transcription, which we got down there, which we've not really released to the public, it, um, that has, uh, somebody's corrected it, and this is two or three hundred years later, they've corrected and made it the same foot, same step. And at first I thought, oh, does he know something? But it turns out the person who transcribed it was actually a, like a, a military academic, a military scholar, not a shinobi. So logic would say that he is trying to correct what he feels is the best. And he chose same hand, same, same foot. Um, we don't know his reasons for choosing that, which is a shame. But in my opinion, he's probably, we know he's not a shinobi and he's never done the walk. So it's probably his logical guess. Okay, so let's now move on to the Bansen Shukai. Okay, the Bansen Shukai. So let's leave the unnamed step from the Shinobi Hiden behind. Now that's the on the hands or either hand one. And let's move on to what is in the Bansen Shukai. The Bansen Shukai simply has four steps that you use. The fourth step is simply known as the Deep Grass Rabbit Step. This is Shin So no Toho. This is generally how it's pronounced uh, in the ninja community. All right. But there are some serious issues to be raised here. Okay, let's start. This step is used to go down the sides of corridors. It says go down the sides of corridors. And what most people don't realise is it's an alternative or an extension 
for the use of these, which are, that's from the Bansen Shukai, volume 9. And this is the silent sandal. This sandal here is a wooden sandal with cloth and uh, material attached to the bottom. Now it says, use this or the, um, hold on, let me move that. It says, use this or the Shinso no Toho. Um, now, what it does is it said you should use it in, le in like a leaf on water. So like a leaf floats on water, okay? That's the first thing you should know. The second thing is this. The kanji used in the Bansen Shukai is not deep grass rabbit step. This is very important, guys. It's not deep grass rabbit step. The kanji deep grass rabbit step, here, here's the deep grass version. Right, I want everybody in the ninja community to take note of this. It never appears in the Bansen Shukai. Okay, get that clear. Deep grass does not exist in ninja documentation. That is a fact. And that is a fact that cannot be overlooked. However, Shinso, this kanji here, does. So that kanji, Shinso, um, is does not mean deep and grass. It means temporary and makeshift. Now, it's an absolute fact that this is used on many other occasions in the Bansen Shukai to do with ladders, to do with tools. Anybody who reads Japanese, go through it and look at the Shinso, and it means makeshift or quick or, you know, ad hoc. So that leaves us now with not deep grass rabbit step, which I will say again never existed in the Bansen Shukai. Well, that means we only have makeshift, temporary or ad hoc toho steps okay so that's what we're left with makeshift so now it's no longer a name deep grass rabbit step deep grass has gone and it just means temporary or ad hoc so that bit's gone to the side because it comes before the actual name of the step so the name of the step is toho no jutsu so makeshift uh, ad hoc toho no jutsu however there's a bit of a deeper problem here the reason it got deep grass rabbit step deep grass is because in the Japanese language, in Japanese manuals, not always is the correct kanji used. Sometimes, and in fact quite often, the wrong kanji is used, meaning its meaning has the wrong meaning. It's not the correct kanji for that word, but the sound is the correct kanji. So if someone back in 1600 doesn't know which kanji to use, they'll use one with the same sound. So, Shinso, people thought it must mean deep and rabbit, or uh, deep grass. Well, of course it doesn't. It means if you analyse it now from our modern perspective, like not from Okusei, Nawa and Seiko, we now have a better understanding. Um, you can know that they're temporary or makeshift. So, to qu qualify, they changed the kanji in the uh, 1950s, 1960s from the Bansen Shukai and they started typing it in their books. We pick up Nawa books and Seiko books and they use deep grass. From there, deep grass has gone everywhere in the world and it's all over the world. It's actually a 1950s mistake, yeah? So back to it, we've got temporary or makeshift um, toho steps. Now, the word toho, we have to be careful here, it might not be pronounced toho. It can also be pronounced um, uho. So, u, rabbit, usagi yo jimbo, usagi, the rabbit, it can be an u sound. Uh, instead of a toe sound. So this is where we started to look around. We're like, okay, we've got temporary um, toho steps. And we thought, well, maybe it's not toho, maybe it's uho, which is the correct maybe pronunciation. So we started searching. And Yoshie found, amazingly, she found like a 13th century document and onwards of a step called the Emperor's Step, which is ufu or uho. Both are okay. So it's a well-known step and it's actually a step based on a Chinese emperor and it's um, pronounced U and it um, is a magical step so the step goes like this believe it or not it goes you slide like a leaf on water you slide your foot up then you slide your foot next to it then you slide your foot up again then you slide your foot next to it 
Now you chant magical words. So from our perspective, Fujibayashi is like saying you do it like a leaf on water, but you do it in a makeshift way, i.e. you don't do it the full way, you do it in a, in a temporary way, i.e. not with all the magical spells. But it is a magical step which may come into play, but that's not for discussion here. So, here's the kanji for rabbit. And here's the kanji for the emperor's step, the emperor section. How amazingly close are they? So Fujibayashi at the time is writing the art of the temporary emperor's step, and he's like, which one shall I use? He just go Uho step, so he uses the kanji for U, which is rabbit. Okay, we don't know if this is opinion now. The fact is that rabbit step exists. Deep grass does not, but rabbit step is 100% there. But, like we know, they change the kanji, and you can find the documentation, and it's all there. The Omyodo magical art of the Uhfu, or Uho step, which is the emperor's step of the such and such dynasty in China. So to round the Bansen Shukai section up, okay, you've got the Bansen Shukai is written in 1676. In it, he clearly writes, it's fact that he writes temporary or makeshift Toho or Uho step. There's no pronunciation to aid with it, it could be both. So he never writes deep grass and he writes Toho step or Uho step and he uses the kanji rabbit and step. It is possible that that step is actually the famous, well, which is, sorry, not famous, but well-known step. In Fujibashi's time, the Uho step is well-known. It would be performed in um, rituals, it would be performed in many different places, and it was well-known to him and his contemporaries. So anybody reading Uho would go, ah, okay, the magical step. So here's the magic bit, not the magic, but the interesting bit, is in the Shoninki, which is here, the Shoninki, of course, another bomb, true path of the ninja, it says one of the ninja walks is Suriashi, which is this walk. So you ready? Suriashi is this. Uho walk is this. Yeah, slightly different, but the same. Now, this walk in the Bansan Shukai is done near corridors, like a leaf on water, or instead of the um, silent sandal. So the silent sandal you glide ever so lightly across, slowly. Now which is more reasonable? To me, obviously I've published it that way, it's reasonable to say instead of this hands under or alternative hand from the shinobi hidem, that you use suriashi, the sliding walk, the, or the uho walk, the semi-sliding walk, along the edges of corridors. Okay? Are you with me? So how did these two get mixed up, right? It has to be absolutely, absolutely certain in your head now that the Shinobi Hiden, the unnamed walk, okay, which is standing on the back of your hands, is in there. About a hundred years later, if the date is correct on this, the rabbit step, which has no description whatsoever about how to do it, because it's presumed you know how to do it, you know. Absolutely no description appears here, all right? In the 1950s, 60s, maybe even late as 1972 with Nawa, somebody, and we think it's Nawa, puts them together for absolutely no reason, none, except that they think it's right. Unless there is a document they have not listed that puts them together, which is possible. But, just so you, the viewer, are absolutely clear, the deep grass rabbit step is never ever described as standing on your hands, and it never ever, the standing on your hands, is never ever associated with the rabbit step until hundreds of years after it was written by those three people that was in that community. Alright? So all around the world, these people teaching deep grass rabbit step are making some serious mistakes. Firstly, they are saying that deep grass is in the Bansan Shukai. No, it's not. Okay, it's not there. Secondly, they're saying that the deep grass rabbit step is a form of walking on your hands. Nobody knows what the deep grass rabbit step is, the temporary
every rapid test. Nobody has a clue. Simply because it is not explained. Therefore, me and Yoshe went through and we um, came up with the conclusion that the deep grass rabbit step, oh sorry, the, I should stop saying that now. The actual rabbit step is simply um, sliding your feet using padded sandals, which is a form of walk known in all of Japan as the Uho or Ufu walk, which is part of Omyo magic. Okay? We may be wrong, okay? We may be wrong. But at the moment, we have at least some backup for this. The idea of the deep grass rabbit step being where you stand on your hands is totally unfounded. It has no foundation history whatsoever, and it's simply Nawa says. Now, did Nawa Seiko see a manual where this explained it? It is possible. But all those people out there who have been teaching this either need to come up with the exact spot where these two are connected. So, in short, my challenge to anyone out there, be it, uh, and, and this is not a horrible challenge, be it Kawakami, Hatsumi, anybody, anybody on any of the hundreds of sites where they teach deep grass rabbit step, I need you to tell me where Nawa Okusei uh, Fujita, where they connected or how the two are connected, okay? If you can fill in that blank, we would have solved the entire mystery, alright? But as it stands, it's still a mystery, and the only thing we know is that they are separate walks for hundreds of years. By the way, if you're interested, the uh, magical commands you say on the Omnio step are uh, left foot first, then right foot, and it's tempo, ten dai, ten shou, tempo, ten kin, ten shin, ten chu, ten nin, ten a, ten ai. They're the actual magical words you use, so obviously when you're creeping around you can't use those magical words, so you do makeshift ones, i.e. you don't do it. So to finish off though, what I'm going to do is I'm going to read from page 110, right? Um, again from this book this time, not the others. And here's the conclusion we've come up with. The 17th century, the Bansen Shukai rabbit step is for the first time, named for the first time, um, but does not describe the process. Simply states makeshift Uho steps, like a leaf on water. 1731, the Okimori um, Shinobi Hiden describes a, an unnamed step where you stand on the back of your hands. Claims it is from 1560. Uh, in 1843, um, another version of the Shinobi Hiden changes it to same hand, same foot method. In 1972, maybe before, to be honest, we didn't check every book, Nawa claims that the rabbit step is found in the Bansen Shukai, actually named the unnamed step from the Shinobi Hiden, but he doesn't give any reference why he believes they're connected, so no idea. Then after that, researchers around this time basically take Shinso um, to mean deep grass and mix it in. And everything gets put in one mixing pot together. So, I'm going to leave you now, right? I know I've said it multiple times, but so you're clear, you've got Shinobi Hiden, the unnamed step of walking on your hands. Whichever way you want to do it, or you believe, I believe it's opposite, opposite, but that might change. That was there. The Bansen Shukai writes the makeshift Uho or Toho steps. In our opinion, it's the Uho step, and the kanji is used as just a simplified version of the Emperor kanji. So that's it. The two never cross, unless out there you can show me the documentation where they cross. I would love some response videos to this, and um, of course, if you're interested, for the Americans, this is out on the 1st of November, and it's got all this information in. Um, for England and Europe, it's out already. If you want to use, read the Bansen Shukai, that'll be out eventually, but not for a long time. But the Shonin key is there. The Ninpiden is now called the Secret Traditions of the Ninja. So, I hope you enjoyed that. Leave your video responses, leave your reviews, and um, I'm looking forward to uh, all the comments below and the discussion this is going to create, because it's a really big subject. Alright guys, see you later. My name is Anthony Cummings.